Hi Seekers, we are Matt and Angie, the queer couple wandering around Italy on a rainbow van. Today's video will be a special one, because the only thing you'll see will be us eating a lot of delicious and not so delicious vegan food. So stick with us to find out what two vegans can eat in Bologna. Hi Seekers! Hi. Good <laughs> Good morning. We are in Bologna and today we are filming something amazing. Are you ready? I'm ready. We are gonna do the food tour, the ultimate food tour of Bologna Vegan Edition. I chose a salty croissant with uh, apricot jam. Good. Do you like it? I like it a lot. <laughs> I love it. If you know me, you know that I love suckers. I saw they had it, so I had to choose it. Let's try it. I'm an expert of suckers, so let's see if they're up to the to the level. Ooh. Ooh. So juicy. Ooh. How is it? The jam is so so perfect. And the chocolate perfect i like it love it <laughs> the first stop was really really great so if you are ever in bologna basilico food is definitely a must for vegetarians and vegans they even had some vegetarian options they are not for us but that that's good too yeah so definitely go there go check it out it's really really good yeah. the sucker was amazing one of the best I've ever eaten. And we pay 5.90 euros. We are outside of Alcadilla Bio. It is our second stop. We chose the Piatto Unico, which is a dish where you can choose uh, one uh, first course, one main course, and one side with some sauces too. We chose the vegan carbonara with the uh, farfalle pasta. Looks delicious. And then we chose the tempeh with the pineapple and as a side, fried celery root. With it, we are gonna have um, vegan mayo with some herbs and a vegan mayo with uh, turmeric. So let's try it. is so creamy and so tasteful. Really, really good. Let's try the tempeh with the pineapple. You'll love it. The sweetness and the, mm, the tempeh is a, a little bit crunchy. It's so good. Now let's go for the sedano rapa. It's not super crunchy, it's a little bit plain. And the mayo, this one is really good. And let's try the turmeric one. Mm. I like it better. Definitely approved. For dessert, we chose a typical cake in Italy, which is the Torta della Nonna, which you can translate as Grandma's Cake. And it's made with custard and pine nuts. I'm super curious to try it because I've never eaten it uh, in a vegan version. I ate it like tons of years ago, like the regular one. It's a jump in the past. It has um, lemon zest as a flavor in the custard. It's so delicious. It's really, really good. Alchemilla is so approved. The owner was so kind. The price of uh, our lunch was even quite nice, I would say. We spent a total of 15 euros. We just took one dish. Since we are eating so much today, we are trying to control ourselves. <laughs> and one cake, but I think it's uh, 
quite uh, right as a price yeah, and uh, I don't feel myself empty so it's good <laughs> We have decided to stop for a little aperitivo to enjoy the world food tour in Bologna. We couldn't like avoid an aperitivo. So we decided to take two Aperol Spritz and we're gonna show you how in Italy we do the aperitivo. Our last destination for this food tour is Botanical Lab. We were supposed to have this dinner tomorrow night. We booked for it, but we have decided to go back uh, to Livorno and be there a little bit early because we have many things to do. First of all, editing a lot of videos. We decided to eat here tonight instead of tomorrow night, but they do not have any place for us tonight to eat. So we are gonna order takeaway and we are gonna show you everything we are gonna eat in the van. This is how much it is raining. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we ran from the bus station to the van and my feet, they're super wet. Oh, super wet and super gentle. <laughs> <coughs> Here we have the jackfruit with some herbs and spices. There's a salad that due to the takeaway does not look very appetizing and here we have some Jerusalem artichoke not so crunchy but tasty here instead we have some gnocchetti with pumpkin flour there's a cashew cream some tournic greens and plant-based meat here instead there's some pasta fresca made uh, in a triangular shape and has some kale with uh, dried tomatoes, olives and some herbs. Let's try everything. It looks like shit. <laughs> And it, uh, it tastes... <laughs> no, it doesn't taste that bad, but the look <laughs> is really awful. It doesn't taste like jackfruit. There's a little bit of a um, reminder of the jackfruit. Maybe with the lime it's better, but um, it doesn't taste like anything. I personally don't like it, but maybe it's just my taste. And um, not so good. Let's try the other ones. We have to be real on this channel, guys. We said from the beginning we are gonna do like honest reviews. Let's try the gnocchetti. Hmm, this one are good. The cashew cream is really, really good. Even the pastry of the gnocchetti is a little bit sweet because of the pumpkin. It tastes really good. Hmm, this one I like it a lot. This other one, the triangles, the inside. Mmm, okay. Mmm, this one is really, really good. I love it. Also, the, the kale on top is perfect and it's so flavorful. So this one is approved. Probably the jackfruit is not their cavallo di battaglia because to me, it tastes really, really, it looks like a different restaurant. And from the best vegan restaurants into 2015. Yeah, 2017. Ah, 17. I would expect more than this jackfruit uh, dish. Uh, we spent 38 and 50 cents, which for a takeaway, it's pricey, but for these two, it's worth it. This other one, that's really. The shapes and... <laughs> The look, the touch, and the look—it's mm. <laughs> like shit. So, I don't 
like <laughs> for this uh, reason. But the the the. <laughs> You're eating a piece of shit. <laughs> the taste. Uh, You're eating yourself, baby. <laughs> mm. Yeah. 